A wonderful, beautiful uh, morning in our Verenkiato Zoo, and we are back in episode 8, if I'm not wrong. So, in today's episode, we are going to, well, have some fun with the Shida Habitat, but also, you guys can win, which is which is crazy. We haven't done this in a long, long, long time, um, but it's Sunday, it's the end of the week, and it's nearly end of January, and I thought, you know... Mm, there is some, some cool situation going on right now that I can hand you a few codes for the Arctic DLC pack. And uh, yeah, I, you know, the thing is, I didn't want to put that into the title. I do want to reward people that are actually watching my videos. So here's my point. If you want to win the Arctic DLC, here are a few hints how you can do this before we uh, start building uh, this cheetah habitat over here, which I was planning from the end of last episode. So in order to win one of the three codes I have in total, uh, I will have them in different areas, so to say. So the first one will be within the whole week in my Varen Kyoto Zoo. So in every episode, I would ask you to put in a hashtag franchise, simply hashtag franchise, somehow in the comments. It doesn't matter how and how you implement that, just hashtag franchise. Um, this is how you do it. Or what you can also do, I will have a live stream going on uh, tomorrow on Monday evening, where I will be handing also uh, DLC, so make sure to check out my Twitch page, follow on there, which is the first thing that you might want to do, because that's going to help you a lot by getting notified when I'm live. Um, and then during the um, stream, I will be giving away another one uh, to one of you lucky winners. And the last one is, and this is the reason why I even have those, um, is connected to my uh, Arai, which is the Arctic uh, little side series I do, a side project. And this one is in particular meant to, to do and deal with education about the um, conservation of ice bear, uh, polar bears, I should say, and stuff. So, yeah, in order to uh, kind of honor this little conservation project, I'll be giving away the last one over there. So it's highly uh, important that you guys are going to... Why the hell are you not? There are so many. Let me just check. Um, it's highly, 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 highly um, important for you guys to... Um, Check this out, um, because I will be giving away another one in there, but this one will then be referring to some of the questions or topics I dealt with in my series. So, highly recommend it to watch that series. Okay, that's enough about me talking uh, about this project. Let's now do our job and finally do what's uh, needed to be done, and this is the cheetah habitat. But before we do so, I'm quickly turning off my oven, because it's super boilingly hot in here, and I'm going to change this quickly. All right, here we go. Now, um, yeah, as I said last time, we are in a way colder environment. This is why I will have to deal with this problem a little bit. And if I'm not completely wrong, I also already have a, um, a wonderful cheetah. I, I think I did get two cheetahs already. Let me just quickly check. I, I totally forgot that. So let's see if we... Oh yeah, we have two cheetahs. That is awesome. Now, um, this second one, if you guys were right, is a... Um, albino. At, at least that's what I think. But uh, we will we will see that. Now the first thing we need to do uh, is employ another keeper because we will need our keeper for this habitat, which is going to be this dude over here. Hello. Okay. So you're gonna get a new work zone, which will be. Oh wait, no. You, you cannot have this work zone as of now because there needs to be a facility first, and that is the keeper hut. Uh, let me just put the small one down. It's gonna be right off. You know what? We can also integrate that into the building. Why not? Let's just put that here and this will be somehow integrated uh, style wise into the building. Uh, now I can actually get you and uh, put you into, first of all, less money. Uh, yes. And can I? yeah, that's, that's fine. And you're gonna have this one. And this is, oh, well, you need a staff room. Is that a staff room? Yeah. So this is going to be the cheetah. And not six, but there we go. Cheetah. Okay, so this is done. Now, vet research is done as well. God, I finally got rid of all the notifications. I did play a little bit in advance before um, I started recording this episode. Uh, there's also a little issue from the last time, uh, the update. I don't know what it broke, but um, this is how the, the people 
are called in here and then uh, you can still see how the people are called but it's it's at the end i think it's just a minor issue if, if that's the only bug that is in the game right now i am more than happy is there anything else we can do no nope, not really in here nothing in here really okay so let's get the animals in because i have no idea what i need to do about the cheetahs in general so i will have to bring them in first and see how how sensitive they are to breakouts and, and space and whatever. You know, this is what I want to do first and then we're going to hopefully make this uh, look nice. Oh, wait a second, I, uh, okay, I need to, to pause the game real quick. Uh, because obviously this area over here is, is open and the guests would be <laughs> attacked by the cheetahs. This is definitely something we don't want to have. Um, now I wanted to make some sort of fencing in here mm, and a bridge later on. So what we do first, we're gonna build another little area down here where the cheetahs cannot move in. Uh, this is what we do. So it's it's basically uh, taken from what we've done in the other areas as well. Also, we will also borrow this little um, concrete border fence type of thing we used over there. But the other thing we want to have, I think we don't want to have it open on both sides. So what we do, we're definitely creating a bit of a intersection here with the i wonder also two meters of height is not enough in in terms of what we have in in here uh, i also want to not want to go with the steel mesh okay we, we start doing that here maybe it's gonna work out uh i will have one-sided glass somehow we can just curl that a bit here so there we go and then i just want to have this one and straight not that long though that's enough just so it does go in here and then just connect that to the corner, awesome. So we can actually also drag that all the way up already, so it fits to the building, that is nice. We can also bring that up a little bit. I'll keep that a little bit more, ah oh, well, we will see how this works out. Um, but yeah, I think what we can definitely do first of all is raise this whole thing a lot. Uh, I'm not keeping it all this way. I will try to do as much as possible with a natural border and keeping that more open. Not really sure which type of fence I'm, I'm going to use here. And this one over here is especially interesting mm, because I've, I've got no clue. I think this one's going to be a double-sided uh, glass again, or one-sided, I should say. Uh, double-sided would be pretty much bad. So here we go, so that they're not too stressed out. And I'm wondering though, because like these ones are climbable, which is not good. Um, we want to have something in here which is not climbable because these little animals can climb, which is um, something we don't want to have. Hello, can we just, okay, here we go. Uh, do I have to do this like one by one now? Hello, Sele selection is working pretty well, <laughs> not. Uh, let's go to four meters again. This is the height we are going to. Yeah, I'm wondering if I keep it, this, but it, it's looking pretty boring for the guests indeed here. So this is something I definitely want to consider making look good because, you know, if we if we go further past here, that looks so stupid. It doesn't look nice at all. I mean, if we integrate that with the building, that will potentially look better. But um, yeah, in total, it just doesn't look nice. I wonder, though, if we can do something else about this, this bit over here, making it a kind of different fence type. Not quite yet, but... Uh, maybe later on because I am not a big fan of how that looks Not at all like I really want to make this look natural it also oh, Let's say especially uh, Even though it is a franchise. I think this is maybe a topic I need to address again uh, Because people seem to be complaining about this all the time And I I just want to address that every single time so you guys know what's going on also I am a little bit uh, disappointed about the development well, n you know in terms of <laughs> how do I put that? In terms of how it works, I am super happy with the fact that franchise does particular, in particular, better than my sandbox series. But my, you know, that my heart beats for sandbox and being very creative and being very detailed about my stuff. And you know, people complained in my franchise series about being less, um, how to how to put that. Uh, less detailed in my habitat builds and, and making them look less nice and I could make them look better and obviously yes I can but so here's the thing I could spend three episodes making one habitat but you know what happens on YouTube and with you guys we have a habitat build of real time of three hours I think a few people would admire watching that but this is by far the minority the majority of people will get pretty bored indeed they wouldn't be able to watch it and it would somehow kind of also um cannibalize or it kind of will 
um, sacrifice what I'm doing with my uh, sandbox because it's in fact the same you can you can just get the videos and play them uh, 10 times speed and then you will have this exact same thing as my sandbox series and I want to differentiate a little bit in those two things I want to have a sandbox series but I also want to have a very decent uh, franchise mode and franchise is all about getting more animals getting the zoo to run and actually making it look nice is an important bit of it but it's not as important as it is in the other series. So I'm I'm trying to keep that to one episode each. You know, I don't want to spend too much time uh, building certain things in the episodes when it's not really necessary. You know, it, it's it should look a little bit better than like, you know, bare bone-esque uh, weird looking habitats. I don't want to have that too. But it is, you know, it is just such a input output discussion when we go into something like you know making all habitats look fairly decent and this for example it doesn't look perfect you know there's so much more room for improvement but it does what it does it does it does the job it, it kind of translates what i wanted to do we have the cave in here and if i would be going in here and and make this whole zoo look a lot better it wouldn't take me too long to turn this into something really nice looking so this is this is kind of my my way of processing this whole thing over here. I, I think it makes sense, but I also can agree to, to a certain degree that you guys um, want to see more detailed builds and stuff. So yeah, fully understand that. But as I said, it's I have to, I have to uh, diversify also in, in the stuff I do because otherwise uh, I get bored, which is also not good for a um, creative game in general. Uh, you better not get bored because that is going to um, definitely make you make you, uh, well, it puts you into a position where you are less creative in general, just because you force yourself to do certain things and uh, you you would try to avoid that because you, you always want to make sure that you guys out there enjoy my series, not only uh, because you maybe may even enjoy my talking here, my commentary, I don't know, um, or my whatever, my creative mind or whatever you like about this, uh, but you also enjoy the game and you want to see something good in, in the game. So that means I need to deliver something good. And I can only deliver this when I am uh, put into a position that I'm enjoying it. And so, yeah, that's my, that's my little explanation why I am maybe not focusing like a million thousand percent on, on making those habitats look as detailed as they could be. Um, especially with, um, for example, the uh, sandbox boat. Yeah, so that's that, that's basically it. Yeah, I guess that's enough of, of me um, explaining that. So as of now, I see that the animals cannot traverse over here, but that's fine because I first of all want to see how they behave in here. Now let's do one thing already. Uh, we can already go into, oops, no, species, and we're gonna go for the cheetah. I never build a habitat for the cheetah. It's so, it, it's really insane that this will be my very first uh, cheetah habitat build. I still cannot, I really cannot process that. It is so, it is, really is crazy. Uh, but now, so, I'm gonna put another scratching post in here. We're gonna, I think we're gonna have the food tray outside of the habitat. Maybe it's not too in, too clever to put it here, but yeah. So we're gonna put a heater way in the middle here. So there we go with the cheetah. Uh, we have to definitely take a look into its traversable area immediately now, because we don't wanna have it escape. I, I wonder if it could, I guess it cannot escape at this point in time. No, it cannot. So what about the space? Oh, the space is way enough, that is interesting. So we need a lot more grass short and not grass long. That is a pretty simple change uh, we can definitely do. I'll just uh, get in with the... So, here we go. There is no need for any any long grass in here anyway. So, how the hell is there so much long grass? Uh, okay, so this is a lot better. Uh, but, what we definitely do not want is... We do not want... Uh, okay, we can have a lot more sand because that you know it, it does look definitely too uh, Too green and that's definitely not what we want. So I want to make it a lot more dirty a lot more uh, Used because that's that's also what you want to have a bit more rock ish as well as long as it, as we keep it to the green That should be all fine. Okay, let's see that we can also manage to bring some rock in here and maybe do some really cool I mean, it's not cool, it's just sand, but just put the sand down here, making that little nice bay. Okay, so that is it. 
Now, uh, before we move on, I think they have a pretty decent view on uh, onto the animals now. But as I said, the animals might even be stressed quite quickly. Uh, this is what we definitely have to keep in mind. Uh, there's no food enrichment. Do we have food enrichment? First of all, we need to check our vet, please, because um, oops, vet research is going on. Um, you can first of all go into Cheetah, please. The Grizzly grizzly is doing quite okay. I guess while we talk, we can just increase the food quality a bit. Oh god, this is... Otherwise, it's going to get a bit more... Uh, well, pretty, pretty, pretty expensive. Okay, but now uh, let's quickly focus on giving them some education in here. So we're going to have an education board here. We're gonna have another education board in the front here. We're gonna have another one just in the middle here. Oh well, we can actually hang this, this thing. Uh, that should not be too complicated to hang that in the middle of, oh well. Well, there we go, okay. Great. Now, let's do cheetah. Awesome. And, yeah, we can actually leave this one. That's gonna be cheetah as well. And this is also going to be... Oh, this has no power. We have to, to look into power. But that's fine. Oh my god, my scorpion had offspring again. Our money printing machine still does the job, which is insane. Okay, but first of all, we're going to put down educational speaker right over here. Because this seems to be the center uh, where we can have a lot education going on here we go and then we can also funnel this uh, to the left and right if needed so let's put this one I guess it will have no power here right um, oh no oh well where did I put this I, I cannot even see that oh it's just hidden in here it has no power anyways okay let's delete that we have to work with it right now like this that's fine okay and we definitely want to have some money this is why we need an education box which is that one here here, 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 and also since they do stand a lot in here as well, gonna give them a lot more to put the money down, which is great. Now that is amazing. Uh, maybe we just put another one right in the middle. Uh, well, whatever. Yeah, so they see it, they, they should give us some money. They oh, I love when they're sprinting around. I really love the animation. It looks so good. Okay, but anyways, um, last time I did this all wrong and waited way too long. So you're gonna get another ATM just in that corner. That looks good. Uh, but yeah, bins. The bins are... I don't know why you would need these bins so often in that game. Uh, but you need to, which is uh, the, the bad part about it. Oh god, you just need the bins everywhere. Otherwise the people just start littering everything just right off. They just don't even wait. They're just like, okay. Here you go, you forgot the bins. All right, we can we can just throw it on here. It's so insane. It is really like, what the hell? Anyways, okay, so just another bench in here. Two benches here. Oh no, uh, you wouldn't put one there. You, you would not. Well, you can just get rid of that bin. Just move that further over. Awesome. So yeah, this is going to be a very nice area. Are you pooping? Nice with pooping. Pooping. Oh, okay, that is a little bit of a different type. It's just not, it's not really albino. It is just a different type of, it's a special type of, can we, is that like mentioned in here? Um, is there like genetic, is there a bonus appeal? Huh, I'm just not an expert on that, but yeah. It feels almost like that is something we we can be happy about, but yeah. Um, again, I've I've no clue if that's it. It looks almost like the the little ones that are not grown up. They don't always have the same pattern, but yeah. Let me just also check that we give them some food enrichment. Uh, is that is that food enrichment? We do not have a food enrichment for them, right? Okay. Now I figured also there is a second little issue we have, but we will solve that issue, I guess, now. Uh, I want them to be able to go over into this area, okay? So that is it. Now, we are going to do this with some climbable stuff and, uh, well, not for the cheetah though, uh, but the cheetah will hopefully be able to use it anyways. Uh, we have to build that a little bit on... Uh, yeah, well, a, a bit more free, I guess that's, this is what I want to say. I want to make sure that they can traverse the bridge over here first. This is the first thing I'm doing 
uh, before going on and, and making it look a bit nicer. The reason for that is simply that I, I figured lately that building bridges seems not to be that easy in the game because some animals uh, can use these climb build pieces somehow pretty well. They don't really have too big of an issue doing that, but the others just, I don't know, they, they just uh, just don't use it and you have to make it wider or less narrow, I should say. Not wider per se, but like, yeah, less narrow, I guess that's what you want to call it. And yeah, this is what I'm just doing over here. I'm just building this bridge first of all to see if they can use it and then we will go on and uh, see what we can do to make it look nicer. But first of all, we have to check if they can use it anyways. Now, let's see, traversable area. Okay, see, that's, that's where it's starting. They cannot use this. Uh, I don't know if it's already enough to make this wider or less steep. Um, this is again something that I do always want to consider. Um, I guess cheetahs can also not really climb like the like the other big cats can. Okay, see, this is what I meant. You have to make it a bit more uh, wide, I guess. Uh, so they don't have a hard shelter, but they will get a hard shelter soon, uh, as soon as I have a roof on that center. So let's see if they will be able to traverse over here if I do make that a bit wider. We're gonna give this also a, a security border, so that's, that's for granted, because otherwise uh, they definitely have an issue um, because they can break out and that's not something we want them to do. Now let's see if this works out and they could traverse over here. Uh, that looks fairly decent. Yeah, and they seem not to be able to break out, but yeah, it's it's not really realistic anyways. What the hell? What's going on? Is that stress? Oh yeah, that's stress because, okay. Well, you might not want to stand over here then, mate. That's maybe not the best idea. Okay, let's move this down a bit so we don't collide with this one. Awesome, that's done. Now, let's give them, first of all, a little bit of a roof. Um, this is what I want to do. Now, give me this piece, and I just want to make sure, oh, wait, no. I want to make sure that this hall doesn't look too, like, you know what we do? We're gonna create one piece here first, and then, yeah, that should be the easiest way of doing it. I guess, uh, to make my life a bit more easy, I should have done that anyways, a little bit earlier. But yeah, we can always do it, and also I, oops. Oh, hiding the UI is only pressing G. I don't even need to make this this complicated. That is interesting. I totally didn't know that. Okay, oh god, next day. Jesus, give me the light back. I hate building in the dark. It's not effective. <laughs> it's definitely not. Um, let me check what we else can use now. We have unlocked a lot of pieces now. Uh, oh god, I love all these pieces though, but they don't fit into this building here. But no, I just want to... Mm, what's that though? No, it's not. It's not big enough. Uh, let's use this one. And is there anything else uh, I want to use here? I love these ones too. It's a bit unfortunate that you cannot recolor them. I think I'm gonna go with a concrete piece if we have concrete. Yeah, there we go. We do have concrete, so I should be able to put another one in. And also height-wise, I just don't want to go too crazy like so and you know what could look cool if we uh, that might be a bit too yeah this is going to be a bit too crazy so not too many color styles I don't want to have too many color styles in here so let's tilt that a bit like so okay that might even be a bit too much tilted so this is what I was going for cool and now can I just go in and say pillar is that what we need? Yeah, but it's not giving me the the wooden ones I was looking for. I think it's also not called pillar. I think it's wooden post, or how is that even called? Uh, let me check. Let me check. It's called a beam. Is that the beam? Yeah, I guess it's the beam, right? Uh, oh, we got a red panda baby. Awesome. Now, I don't know. Just give me the white one. Yeah, thank you. Uh, two, three and four awesome and now we're going to do a bit of a roofing here and yeah we're going to work out this with the uh, concrete or asphalt ish roof i guess is what you want to call it and then here we go one this can be a bit like that i like this and now let's do something a bit like this um a bit more tilted towards the front you know, I'm trying to address some of your concerns and try to build a bit more nice looking now. This is what I want to translate into this build. Uh, I had a certain idea 
again, it's it's not getting super crazy detailed or whatever, uh, but yeah, it should at least transport a bit more of what you guys were asking for. We really hope that this will be it to deliver it a bit more. Anyway, so we were about to put down the roof, not a glass roof, even though it would be cool. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm just using this roof piece over here. Awesome. Okay, so that's what we that's what we did, and now we should be able to easily copy that around. Let me just drag my mouse over here. Awesome. And now let's put it. Do we have any animal issues? We have got two animal issues, which I don't like to see. Mm, we have to change. Oh god. Let me. Please don't tell me that. Okay, no, it is working. Wait, no, it's not really working though. Is that like? Can I? Uh, why on earth is that not? Okay, we have to move the wall then instead because I'm too, I'm too lazy to 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 change that because uh, it's not needed. Nope. Hello, come back. Okay, so that is it. And now let's go all the way over here. Put that in. Great. Let's see what does it do over here. Is that yeah? At least that's a bit better. Noise. So this is going to be the um, cheetah house. Uh, I I hope that this, the looks of it is a bit more interesting. I feel it 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 is working. It's it's getting there. Uh, yes, we do have to change a bit of. Oh god. Okay. So well, I did two mistakes over here, right? Uh, um. How am I even supposed to only select these pieces? I guess that's, that was just quite good, I should say. I didn't expect that. Okay, so let's move this bit over here into the right spot. Awesome. And now let's get these things all into its position. That oh, looks fairly okay to me. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we have to obviously change the corners a bit. They don't look too nice. And um, we can do the following. Uh, we're gonna take care of the corners in a bit guys, so don't worry about that, but yeah, so we have all these and Move them. We just basically move them. Oh wait. No like that. Let me just quickly check the animal issues Okay, I think it's all about stress. We have to reduce the stress of these animals a bit by rocks and so on uh, I guess that will be not too big of a deal to oh God. Okay, I shouldn't have left the building Rudy should have not left the building Okay Awesome, that is it. Um, let's move them all into a position where we can better use it. Okay, so that's that's actually looking fairly okay to me already. If we just put these corner pieces in, we should be well able to deal with that. Okay, that's not the right tilt. Uh, this is not the right angle, I should say. This is the angle we need. God, I would love to have that without this middle piece. It's not that I don't like it, but I think it would look so much better to have it a fully flat one, but yeah. Okay, we have to take care of our animal welfare issue in a bit, but yeah, we let me just drop all of it in. Yeah, that looks good. And now let's just go in and put a flat roof in the middle. We're gonna go with the concrete floor. Just have that a bit lower down. There we go. Awesome. Wait, no, can I just keep the height? Yeah. Awesome. That looks good to me. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And copy it all over. Oh yeah, we have to change the inner walls as well because they potentially would not be open. Uh, that's not what you would have, but yeah. So here we go and copy those two over. So now at least they're not complaining about a hard shelter anymore. But yeah, so the entrance looks kind of dull and the internal looks also dull. Um, but we will be we will be taking this into account. Uh, I think it's all about stress, right? It is all about stress and social. So first of all, oh, this is because there's no one-sided glass. That is something I should have considered. Um, let's go into barriers. Glass. No, one-sided glass, please. And gonna put it down like this. And gonna put it down like this. Alright. And now let's move it right in here. 
and right in there. Nopity nope, and move it all the way up. So our guests don't really recognize what happened, but we do. That is great. We can even connect that. Awesome. As if I have planned it that way. So that will reduce the stress, at least for the internal area, a lot. The guests still do have a very nice view indeed. Let's see. Yeah, the stats are getting a lot better. We did it. Okay, so let's see the enrichment, food enrichment. Uh, wait, no, there is none for the cheetah yet. I think they like the grazing ball feeder, don't they? Let's go species, cheetah. No, not yet. Oh, we have to wait for the for the research then. Mm, connecting. What the hell did we do? Uh, we breed a new animal. Uh, that is great. Okay, I don't wanna. I don't wanna greet any more error. <laughs> the error. The error. The error. Okay, so. This bridge over here looks fairly ugly, I do have to say. Now what we do, we go into this and say concrete. Uh, is that, well, no, all please. Um, I think I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it with this one. No, I, there is a smaller one, yeah, all right, okay, this one. That's the one uh, we're going to use to make this a kind of steady bridge. I guess this is definitely what we need, because otherwise that looks uh, a bit odd, I guess. Um, do we... Wait, why is that like grid size one meter? Okay. So, okay, if I build it that way, can I still traverse it? Because if so, that would be, that would be huge, because then I can definitely do it that way. Haha, <laughs> they cannot, because they were... Let's see. I uh, can still not. Okay, so let's let's see if it's all because of that. Booyah. Okay, it is. Um, so we do have to make it even wider, I guess. Let's see. Construction. It's oh god, it's snowy. Now they will complain about the temperature if they go outside. That's for sure. Now let's do this all a bit wider. Then if they if they want to have it a bit wider, we're gonna make. You know what we? Yeah, let's keep it that wide. Why not? So let's move that into. A middle area awesome okay you know what we, we, we do this pretty straightforward now let's get in with the concrete floor then uh, we can still keep that if needed but yeah so we can also have a wall uh, out of glass uh, nope not a pillar a pillar out of glass would also be nice but yeah so can we have something else like so that looks, that looks good to me. Now, is there anything else we can put above that one? Let's see. I want to have another piece. Maybe we go with the Arctic wood ones. Like this. I feel like it would be okay to go with that. Okay, and now the only thing we need to do is to put a roof on and hope that they do still traverse over there. And I, I think I'm going to go with the... Yeah, why not? And uh, we also have... Like these things, the trims for the outsides uh, from the Arctic pack. Yeah, we do. Great. I was already afraid that we don't, but no, we have. But wait, no. Hello. Don't do this, please. And let's see if they can still traverse it. Um, let's see. Low welfare is because of nutrition. Water. Is there again... Uh, I don't know why you don't do anything about this, but yeah. Uh, if they die, I don't care too much because look at that again. Just look, look at, oh god. Select all, quick trade, and 8,000. Awesome. Awesome. So the, <laughs> look at that. I, I love that there is like no snow on top because it's the, 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 the heater is just below there. Our animals are doing quite okay. The enrichment, yeah, could be better. Um, plants could be better. Grassland Africa. Oh god, I, hmm. I don't know if we find anything good in grassland in Africa. Let's see continent is Africa and the biome is grassland and that's it uh, we still would need something that looks good enough to be also in this climate area there is not too much like this one does work um, but it's it's just yeah this one does work too comes to work with this one yeah as I said I you know I'm, I'm not going to work with those trees here it's 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 not gonna happen it's not gonna happen. I, c I can still deal with these trees as well. That is fine, but everything else is just not, not really there. 
I mean, that is not something you would see in Finland. It's just not. I would love to have a bit more flexibility, I guess. Yeah, I think this tree will do the job. It will have to do the job, though. Uh, there's no way of, of, of not having this one then. Yeah, I mean, that one is working too. And yeah, I mean, nettles always work. <laughs> but who does want them? No one does. Uh, anyways, okay, let's let's check the traversal area for a bit. Our dude over here is doing pretty fine. Let's see, environment for plants is still fine. Traversable area does work. Oh, look at that. They even have some more space with that one. That is awesome. So we can just keep this one, which we... Oh, okay. I was about to say we cannot use it uh, because of the height difference, but it's working. That is awesome. Pretty fine indeed. And now... I'm wondering if I'm just... Yeah, I think I, I'll, I'll make my life a bit easier by just moving those pieces uh, over to the other side and then that should be should be fairly okay to to use it that way um no why did i even do this it would have been so much easier to just open this up in order to use it that way come on just yeah exactly like this that would have been so much easier right I don't know why I made it that complicated now. This was so freaking easy. Now let's do it this way, this way, all the way up here. And then we just need that wooden piece, which you stick in the middle, which is that one. I guess it's also the right tilt, is it? Oh, look at... Does this work without Z fighting? It seems almost like I want this. I want that. Can I? Can I also have that here? Wait. Um, I guess no, right? That's a pity. It would have looked so cool. It would have been so cool to have that. Okay, let's see if we can use that at least in front. So, like, just making that look like this. I, I you know, I'm just wanna try and see if I can get a bit of a more abstract look to it. Just making it. I think that I think it works. I think it works. I think I'm gonna keep it at least for this side. Uh, we don't need to have like exactly the same sides all over the place, so that is not needed. Um, but yeah. So it's, uh, it's starting to rain, okay. Okay. Who did order some rain? I didn't. I did not order rain. Okay. God, we already had offspring with the hairy scorpions. This is just really the craziest. Uh oh, the cheetahs are about to mate. That is great. Great that you guys made. Um, yeah, but one thing still does not work this way. We have to move it. Move it, move it. Move. If I got it right, they should be able to use it properly like so, right? Because one thing I have to consider as well is that the staff has to go past here as well. So I cannot just have it this way and then uh, say goodbye to all my animals and just leave them with it because that's not gonna work they do have to have something where they can uh, more or less like yeah you know not, not lean on to this is what i wanted to say but um what the staff members can use as well to traverse over um i i do want to have yeah i was about to say i want to use this one because it is a bit more stable than the other things uh let me just only see that it does not stick out Yep, there you go. So one, two, and three, because that has to be a bit more stable. I'm just gonna do the same. Is that the middle piece? Yeah, I'm gonna have two-ish, one and two. And we do, do the same over here, one and two. And we do the same over here, one, whoops, come out, and two. Great. So these things still look under supported. Uh, I do want to give them some more support. Uh, but not with this one. Gonna take. Oh my god. Angle snap, please. There we go. Angle snap is activated. And now we can just. I think we just put these things in. Like this. And one more. For the higher part. Yep, yep, yep. There's some food being brought here. I, I heard, I just heard that there's food brought. Yeah, some yummy new food for you guys. Uh, see you later, I guess. Wow, 
Have you seen how the cheetah just ran past here? That was insane. What is that in here, though? Oh, this is the... Uh, we definitely want to move this bit. That looks not good. Yeah, that is way better. That is way better. Awesome. So the cheetah came just over here, just running. Look at that. I love it. Um, okay, I, I just paused the game real quick to see if I can get a screenshot of that because, oh my lord, I love that. I just love that. It's just running through that thing and it's just looking so good. <laughs> it's just like really, hello, come on, let's go, let's go, let's do it, let's go. Can I just move a bit further back? Oh, look at the lighting. I love that. This is kind of a cool little cheetah bridge. <laughs> This dude has a lot of fun doing that, right? Cool. Uh, I would love to have some more enrichment for you. Is this research by now? It's not. Do I have to click that so, to get the research? Because by now they should have at least like two-ish. Yeah. So, come on. I, I do have to have it now. It's still not unlocked. Enrichment items. There's a lot of toys going on. But no enrichment. That is so weird. You can also have a box. A card box. Put it here. Right, okay. Um, let me just delete. Did I have the other prey sack in here? No, I didn't, okay. This looks super bare bone. I know, guys. I really do know. You know, what I can do, though, is I can give them... What would you have realistically in here? I guess in here, we can have maybe one of those. This could be like the, the feature of that building to have one of those trees. That would be, I guess this would make sense because that, that is like a heated up building and it gives a bit of context and kind of makes sense to have it in here, right? I think we can we can all agree to the fact that this might be cool to have it. And I'm just giving them some bushes, okay. And then let's get rid of all the filters and now let's do some of our well-known rock work to make that even better. So, eh, we're going to go with these ones. I think they have the right the right color choice I wanted to go for. So, here we go. We can also give them a bigger boulder, just to make sure that uh, this whole building gets a bit more context. I'm gonna, wait, no, that is just in front of the people. Makes no sense at all. I'm gonna put another one here. Just a bit of texture everywhere. So, here and there, just gonna... Make it a bit more like this, and this, and this, just so that doesn't all look too barebone. And same goes for the outside, because at the moment the outside looks fairly barebone. Now that is, that's nice to have it on this side, and we're just gonna give this whole build a bit more flair here and there. Awesome. Cool, we're gonna get a bit more like this. Yeah, I think that the bridge also sells this habitat quite well. Uh, if we get it done that this all is a bit more natural looking, maybe with a different fence and stuff, uh, that'll make the whole system look so much better. Is this one? Oh, God. Rudy, what what, I, what are you even able to do? This is... This is oh, whatever. Okay, so the one is uh, nearly pregnant, I guess. Uh, or it is, I think we, we are expecting offspring already, aren't we? Uh, 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 nope. I thought they, they had made. Didn't they? I was fairly certain they did. Huh. Let's see. Not really. It seems they didn't. Uh, okay, so is the vet research done? It's not, but we can just say hello to people. Uh, Repex X77 is also here. Nice to know. Uh, where are we? There we go. This is our cheetah habitat. God, I love it. I love it. And I think it's a good money maker, isn't it? It's starting to rain again. 500, 700, 300, 80, 80 bucks this one? Zero. What about the inner ones? Uh, oh my lord, these are... Oh god, okay, so this is our money maker bin. This is our money maker donation bin. What are you looking at? I think that's a magic wall. They're just looking into the wall and they're, they're just happy about it. <laughs> but I, I just, I love that view as well in here, like with the, with the building and stuff. 
Ah, uh, looks just so cinnamon. Oh my lord, look at that! Look at that image. This is so cool. Like this is really what I wanted to have as well in the game. It, it, it just the looks of oh, look, guys, just just look at that. This is this is really a very nice view, even though this building is uh, well not too nice looking at this point. There's so much more we could do with this. I mean, keeping it fairly open is cool, but uh, I don't know. Cool. You know what we could do? We could hang that thing here to make it even warmer and to make it a bit more realistic to have these things tucked to the wall. I guess that is what I want to do. Uh, let's see the heat map now. Temperature. It should definitely heat the whole system up here a bit more to make it even more realistic. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense because the the overall build has to be warm. I I do like that. Uh, I really would love if you guys could mate. This is what I still want to do in this episode. I do want to definitely see you guys mate. Uh, you know what we do? I am employing a second vet at this point in time. Mm, simply because I think we will need one anyways in the future. And the vet research could also be a bit quicker. Let's see. Okay, the next level is not not really nearly reached, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's all fine. Is there anything else we can take care of at this point in time? Maybe... Oh, well, they are just all... They could go inside. They don't need to stand out. They... Mm. Yeah, okay, one thing I do want to do uh, is I want to check if the... Nope, traversal area. So they would not be able to escape if I... <sighs> okay, I want to... Let's see. It, it's only a little experiment now. I want to make sure that this habitat looks a bit more open and ended, or like a bit more open in general. I don't want to have it like... Because I feel these concrete walls are so heavy. They are so... Ah, but it doesn't change a thing. Is, that is nice. So maybe... I mean, we need the privacy for them, right? We need the privacy. We don't want them to have that much stress. So this is why I still want to have some kind of concrete walls here and there. Um, what we could do is we could still do these as one. So to make that a little bit more open. They cannot climb, can they? Let's have a look. No, they cannot. That's that, This is really good. This is really good. Okay, so let's kind of fulfill my little um, promise here. I did want to give them a bit more privacy. Uh, privacy, privacy, sorry for that. English, English, American English, German English, Dinglish, whatever I, I use here. But <laughs> uh, It's privacy. It's privacy in American English and privacy in British English. That's what I also learned recently from you guys. I was so uncertain what is right and what is wrong because I was so certain that I did hear um, quite a lot of people saying privacy instead of privacy. And I always thought it was privacy. And then finally people explained to me that it's a matter of region. Huh, how cool is that? Okay, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love just how the sun is falling in here. And wait, can I... Take another lovely screenshot with you right... Oh, look at that. I, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of this one. I am a huge fan of it. <laughs> I love I love how it's just enjoying its, its habitat. And yeah, this is fairly okay. Everything is just fine. Now, the vet research is done. Mm, can I assume that I finally get some enrichment items, food? Oh god, finally. Okay, so... Gonna put this here. Nom nom. Does this mean we have enrichment for both? Because I most certainly don't know if... Where's the other one? Uh, well... Let's see. Ranako, Ranako, Ranako. I'm gonna call you Liam. And okay, now Liam is stressed. <laughs> uh, it seems they get stressed pretty quickly though. 
Maybe we want to give them a bit more privacy with some more rocks, like so. The Indian Rhino has matured, that is good to know. You know what, I could sell this uh, to, to be a bit more in the challenge now. Okay, it's getting better. Species food enrichment is awesome, so okay, that's great. Now let's go back to the Rhino pretty quick and see which one matured, because we have another new baby uh, in the works. It's juvenile. Um, no, you are not, but you are pregnant. No, who of you? I... Wait. I thought they did mate again as well. Hmm. Not really. Animals will fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do not fight. 6.2, 14.8. I'm going to release you to the wild. And that is it. See you. And now this should also have helped me to take part in the competition. Let's see. Connect. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, but I think it didn't count because they they did already breed beforehand. So oh well, whatever. Uh, you need some more toys. Tell me. Tell me you need some more toys. Damn it, you could have just told me. So, um, this is, is toy enrichment, right? Yeah, toys and species is the Indian Rhino. Here we go. I'm gonna give you this one now. And that lovely thing. So you should be happy again. Awesome, you are happy, great. Yeah, okay guys, I think we can call it a day. This was a very productive episode today. Very productive, we got a lot of stuff done. Uh, and I think it looks really good. Like considering what we did lately, this looks fairly great. Look at that, this is a super nice habitat. Even considering the amount of time I spent doing it uh, right now, I am super happy about this habitat. Also, I'm happy about this dude just taking the stair right now because this makes for a cool screenshot. Uh, not sure which one I will have used, but you guys will definitely have seen that. Obviously, if you click the thumbnail to go into the video, that's why. Again, a little reminder, if you guys have watched this episode, you will know that there is a chance to win a DLC. The introductions, uh, instructions to it I gave you at the beginning of the episode, but just a little reminder, put down um, a certain hashtag in the comments down below, which is hashtag franchise, um, or be in my live stream tomorrow for a chance to win another one uh, of these wonderful DLC codes for the Arctic DLC. And there is a last chance to win in my Aridi uh, Winter Project. Uh, just make sure to follow that one as well, and then you'll be good and have a chance to win a DLC code. So, thanks guys for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a great time, and bye guys. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys. Nothing.